Welcome back everybody. It is the 17th of July and here you can see me training some overspeed training in preparation for an international meet in Italy. Here are my current world and European rankings on the 20th of July. In Italy, I'm going to compete in the 100 and the 200 meter. So let's get on our way to Italy. Welcome to another day of Operation Oregon. You ready? So ready. arrived here in Italy and I'm going to take the train to Sel Ligu or something like that. It was a long day of travel from Norway to Celle Ligur so we woke up the next day in Italy and we were ready for a little bit of a preparation session before tomorrow's race. track and doing a little bit of a preparation warm-up for the competition tomorrow. It's actually so warm that my camera is starting to overheat and it won't let me film my whole session. I'm just doing what I normally do, uh, a little bit of a warm-up, some easy drills and uh, maybe a couple of technical runs with uh, spikes on and then I'm doing a couple of hurdle jumps uh, or wrist jumps. While on the track, we met some local sprinters and a watcher of the vlog. We'll finish, uh, let's take a selfie, please. <laughs> yeah, because of course. you are an idol for Really, thanks to Matthias to come here in Italy, in Celle Ligure. Hello. Enjoy the vlog, <laughs> uh, subscribe, yeah, leave a like, from and comment from Italy. Yeah. That's good? Yeah. A nice day in Italy is over and our preparations are done. Let's head on to the competition day. Good morning guys, it is race day and we are on our way to do a COVID test. So 
we've been sitting here for half an hour. This is taking some time. And uh, yeah, we're running in about six and a half hours. We're starting the 100 meter. And then in nine and a half hours, there is the start of the 200 meter. here and I'm sweating a lot and also we didn't know the start time so we have like 30 40 minutes extra before we run but that's okay we'll just relax for like half an hour feeling pretty good we'll see how it goes um, there have been no really fast times here today but uh, hoping to run a fast time myself parte internazionale del meeting Jota Van Quarco, questa notte Nicolas Ferns, Mattias Ove Johansen, quattro volte con Roberto Ricali. Lui già sciatore di buon livello, poi è stata l'atletica leggera, il 2013 Rieti terzo con la tappetta azzurra nella 4% di Europa Ignore. Lo scorso anno ottima medaglia d'argento per lui ai campionati italiani assoluti con la sua chiamata personale a Padova. In 10 sede molto spesso è stato con a vedere questo duello due norvegesi sull'africano un azzurro per Torigali chi ne avrà, chi avrà la meglio bella la progressione di Roberto Rigali sul finale che potrebbe anche avercela fatta il tempo ufficioso 10.64 meno 0.6 per con i migliori tempi come sempre nella serie pre-meeting e siamo in quinta corsia Not too happy about that 100, let's try to reset before the 200 We ended up standing here for a long time because for some reason this restaurant up here had to play some really really loud live music right before our start and during our start so in the end, they just start us anyways. Let's have a look. Il direttore che ha confermato la finale argento del campionato di Cina. I due nomi Jesse of Johnson e il quarto. Trizias e il più debole dovrebbe essere la Zurondiaie. Però ha avuto un ottimo avvio. Bene già qua, in corsia 4. All'interno, bene anche il greco. Pizias, la rimonta di Nicolas Ferns, il sudafricano, è Nicolas Ferns e Jerry Jacpa, e Ferns che la spunta, 21-04. Per il sudafricano Ferns che la spunta per poco sul compagno di colore Lindu Kulgora. Neither the 100 or the 200 went like I wanted to, but the fact that I met a lot of watchers of the vlog and subscribers who wanted to take pictures just made the whole experience that much better. So I'm thankful that I went to Italy and I had a great time even though the results was not that great. We ended off the night with a little bit of pizza before we got ready to travel home again tomorrow. We relaxed for a little bit in Cel Ligur before we headed on the flight home. Since we ran slow uh, yesterday, I'm gonna celebrate with some ice cream. Let's go have a look. Something weird about this place is that the whole beach is private. You have to pay to have a sunbed and it's so popular to be here that all the sunbeds are taken for the whole of July.
And I was just kidding when I said I went home. I was actually going to Sweden to run yet another race. Okay guys, I traveled for about 10 hours yesterday here to Sweden and I'm going to run yet another competition here tomorrow, Sundsvall Wind Sprint. And regarding the competition in Italy, I'm not really happy with my times. Uh, I ran 10.68 and 21.24. I was really hoping to run sub 21 once again, but according to the locals, uh, they call it a marshmallow track, uh, a soft track, and you could really see that on the times. No one really ran any fast times, so yeah. I'm quite all right with how the races went. I've been having some really good training sessions the past uh, two or three weeks. And um, yeah, I won't get that out in my races immediately, so I'm hoping to get it out some more tomorrow. Um, I've been setting personal bests in 30, 30 meter flyings and 150s, and uh, yeah, I should be good. I've run fast there before, uh, I ran about 10.57 and 21.29 or something like that in 2017. And now I'm going to do a little bit of an easy, easy mobility workout um, just to get ready for tomorrow and uh, yeah and after that I'm gonna get on the train to Sundsvall so uh, yeah let's go So I've been on the train from Stockholm towards Sundsvall and uh, I'm gonna need to change here in Gävle. If you have watched my vlogs since 2019, you might remember I ran 123 European Championships here um, in 2019. Uh, I ran the 100 and 200. Uh, I was a little bit unlucky in that championship, but over, overall it was pretty good. Uh, experience I ran 2101 in the heats and um, yeah I'll catch you guys in soon as well. We're out here just a little bit tired from all the traveling the last couple of days. I don't know my legs are probably okay. I'm going to start to warm up and see how I feel. I'm running the 100 meter in 70 minutes uh, and then 40 minutes after we're running the 100 final and 40 minutes after that we're having the 200. So uh, yeah quite a lot of tailwind right now so we might not get illegal times but if we're lucky it's perfect wind right now and uh, yeah really looking forward to race there again.
nice scenery around this track. Biggest elevator in the world. We woke up the after quite a twi- a uh, blah 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 blah